How's it going guys? Welcome back to Stormworks this is the 1.0 update and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up your own modular engine. Now this is uh, our work in progress currently. I'm just kind of throwing this video out here um, right now as of the update and I will be going back to this uh, when it's fully implemented. So uh, yeah, let's get, let's get started right now. Okay, so I'm in the workbench and I'm in experimental mode. Now to do this you're going to have to go into your Steam, right click on Stormworks, Properties and in the Betas tab you can find uh, experimental mode. And uh, that will give you access to all the, uh, the modular engine parts uh, if you couldn't find them before then that's how you do it. Okay, so there's a, quite a few things here that might seem a bit complicated because there are some new kind of connections that don't really follow the normal pipes that we're used to. So uh, I'll show you show you how to do all this. Now you're going to want to start off with a crankshaft. This is kind of like the center of your engine. If you know anything about engines in real life, then uh, this will be quite interesting. So you've got the... Uh, the crankshaft down and you can put as many as you like uh, in a in a row like this just make sure that you've got this circle connection go into a circle connection like so now we want something to actually kind of create the force in our engine so that's where we use a crankshaft and you, again you can put as many of these on there as you like uh, and this is where most of the connections are going to go in. So you have this kind of like single cylinder design right now and there are a couple things that we need if you're familiar with regular advanced engines you're going to have to put in all your fuel, your air and your exhaust uh, and that's pretty simple. Let's start off with the coolant so you're going to need a coolant manifold all of the descriptions aren't actually uh, completed right now and you can see it has the four, four circles and that just uh, correlates to the cylinder and this just has your coolant A, coolant B so I'll just chuck on some pipes to a regular radiator alright now just a note you can't right now set the RPS and they don't really use temperature as a variable so you're just gonna go full up to 100 RPS I've found and so yeah but let's go back alright now we want to get some exhaust in and some air and some fuel obviously so I'm going to select the modular engine intake manifold and this is going to allow us to connect fuel and air. Air I'm just going to take in a regular fuel port like you would anywhere else and fuel I'll get a tank and these engines take diesel by the way. Actually I'll move it out of the way a little further. Let's get it like back here. Alright. And then go uh, exhaust. Now exhaust you don't really need a manifold or anything like that. Uh, like the other ones. You're just gonna want to use the exhaust straight pipe. Uh, which you can use these. They basically have new pipes which work the same way as the the old uh, pipes there. I'm going to use a little corner manifold and that will have the exhaust out there. That can just go straight to the exhaust. Pretty cool. You can see it's kind of coming together now. We've got all our connections. And now this is the bit where I got stuck on when I was trying to figure out it's actually how to start the engine. And there's a few kind of weird things right now with it but basically what you're going to want is 
a starter and that is right here module engine starter and this just controls your on off like it would in a regular advanced engine so I'm just gonna put the hmm, let's put it kind of in here I know it's kind of hard to see I'll just delete that for now and this uh, let's go, go forward one and this is kind of like a motor if you're familiar with normal engines you can actually use a motor to crank your engine and start it up and so this will actually works on a belt so that's why I've gone and got the engine belt drive and that goes on to the circle connection on your engine and there's no real like indication that they're connected so it's kind of funky but for me they're they're going to be connected right now and then yeah that will allow me to start the engine okay now a clutch will allow the power so I'm just going to put that on the front you could do another belt drive and have an alternator which is like a built-in generator and uh, another belt drive for pumps and anything like that so yeah that's pretty that's pretty cool and so I'm just gonna do a propeller on there and I'll get my radiator back okay I'm just gonna paint these up like I normally would so you've got coolant, fuel, power. Alright. And now all you need is a throttle lever. I'm going to use a push button for a starter. And another throttle lever for the clutch. Now, uh, I'm also going to get battery. I forgot that. So battery goes to the starter and all of the controls. Now we have some familiar connections here. The throttle actually comes from the intake manifold uh, for the engine. So that can just go straight there. Clutch I'll put in as there. Starter can go on the starter and then everything is fine. This does have an RPS output. Um, so yeah. And that should work now. I'm going to I'm going to hope because I'm still pretty new to this. And uh, yeah. It doesn't work. Okay, yeah, so I'm back and I've found out a way to get it to work. Basically, I've had my alternator above the um, the belt and on the side of the belt you can see there's this rectangle and that actually correlates to the bottom of the uh, starter well, I had it I had it on the floor next to it and so it didn't count as a connection uh, so if you're having problems with that then uh, the, there's a solution and so I just have to kind of replace all this stuff and then I'll have the clutch so you don't need a clutch for now I could I should have probably fit it in there but oh well but yeah, now I can come and spawn it and boom there it is it's kinda dying don't know where. Let's see, this is very confusing. Oh, no throttle connection. <laughs> My bad. And there we go. It's now on. And yet it's going to just wind and wind up to full throttle <laughs> RPS. I'm going to double that back. But yeah, 
and that's how you do the uh, modular engines as of experimental as it just came out on the 17th so uh, I hope you guys found this useful it's not going to be a super professional video um, I just wanted to rush this out there because uh, there was a lot of questions and so yeah I uh, want to well, thank you guys for watching if you want to check out any other videos on my channel go ahead I do have tutorials on regular engines a lot of the concepts are similar so if you didn't understand anything here uh, go go and watch those videos and yeah I'll uh, see you next time